Welcome to Southern Motors, Michigan's leading muscle and classic car dealer since 1978. Remember, you can always go online and check out our updated inventory at southernmotors.com. Today, guys, going to take a look at just a wicked cool 1970 Dodge Super B. This is a true Super B, guys. Killer car. Factory 3 3 car that now has a 440 underneath the hood. It does have the matching numbers, pistol grip, four-speed manual transmission in it. Uh, it's Alpine white. Uh, older restoration. There's a, uh, matter of fact, there's a ton of receipts in there. A complete body up restoration was done in the 90s on this car, and it's just been one of those cars that's been well maintained. I'll tell you one thing, runs and drives excellent, shifts out good, just a super nice car. Um, I took the car actually in on trade from a gentleman who come up and uh, matter of fact, we did some trading on a GTX convertible I had, but uh, if you're looking for a nice four speed Mopar or something to cruise, I think you're really going to like this car. You can nitpick it. Yes, there's some chips in the paint and some stuff like that. But still, very, very nice and really turnkey. Go cruise it. Go have a blast with it. Uh, you can see he's got the hood pins. Um, he's added the Ram Charger hood. I love the black accents up against the Alpine white. Um, chrome and stainless is nice. You can see they've definitely replaced these front bumpers. Grills in good shape. Again, as you kind of, you know, there's a couple touch-up marks on the car. As you look into it deep, you can kind of see, see a little checking on that front fender. So don't think it's got show paint, but again, you got to get up on this car to really see anything like that. Definitely take it to your lows, local shows and cruises and stand tall next to it. Again, would have originally been a 3D3 car. Uh, it's got a 440 in it now. Um, nothing crazy, you know. It's I can't, you know. It's not like it's set up super fast or anything like that. Really, just drives out good. I love the pop-out rear windows. It had an etched glass in it. I didn't like that, guys. So I uh, I just put a brand new rear glass in it. That tail panel's really nice. You can see a little chip in the paint there. Good solid straight body. It's got BF Goodrich radio TAs all the way around it with the correct 14 inch uh, Mopar rally wheels. It's got a good sound in uh, dual exhaust system in it with uh, the chrome tips. dust there on it. Rushing a little bit, getting out of town, headed to a show, so hopefully we uh, get some more stuff. <laughs> it's getting tough, that's for sure. Good looking car, I'll tell you that, man. Sits good, really goes down the road nice. Nice and clean underneath. Seventy date coded 440. Again, it's original 3D3 car. Um, uh, so they've added the 440 four barrel. He's uh, added the Ram Charger hood, uh, manual steering, manual brakes, just like it would have came. That's actually most of the original Alpine white on the uh, uh, firewall there. It is a matching numbers uh, four speed trans, so we know it was original four speed car. Four barrel stock intake and exhaust manifolds. Not a real fan of those mirrors. Um, they make a really nice set of chrome replacements. But uh, they weren't in stock, so unfortunately, if you want them, you can get them. 
Um, Classic Industries has them as a pair. They're about 240, 250 bucks for the pair of them. But unfortunately, they were not in stock. Eight pillar chrome's really nice. Again, not a big fan of the mirrors. I'd replace those. Does have the original door handles. Door skins are nice and clean. It's got a good solid straight body on it. Uh, it is a bucket seat with a pistol grip four speed. Functional six way driver's seat, guys. And it does work. I think this is the original paint on this car. I think the outside's been repainted, but I think the, uh, the jams and stuff are the original paint. It's got, it's even got all the snap-ins for the seat belts and everything on the rear. Tick tock tack engages, it's showing 615 miles. He, uh, he actually, you can see all those gauges are nice and bright. He actually had that uh, refurbished, um, but he does not know the actual miles on the car since it was done. AM radio does pop on. Um, blower motor, we couldn't get to come on. Um, I'll have Steve check into that. Again, love the pop out rear windows. Eight and three quarter, 391 sure grip rear end. Yeah, I think this in here is original. Um, here's all the receipts on the restoration. I uh, bought a new Chilton's manual for a service manual for it. Again, it is body color here in the trunk. I believe this car's got the, all the original panels still on. Really cool car, like I say, fun to drive. Shifts out good, goes down the road real nice and straight. Yeah, door skins are nice and clean. Seats are nice. They definitely repadded those. It's a good car. You go fire it up, Nathan. Yeah, and those are original. I would definitely find replacements for those. It, uh, it, uh, like I said, it didn't have any stock. Yeah, just a good running four point machine. Little cam to it, nothing crazy, guys. Let's see if I can pin these with one hand. It's not the easiest thing to do, you guys think it is with a People make fun of me for that, but I'm telling you, doing it one-handed is not the easiest thing in the world. <laughs> Good looking car. Good sound. Tack works, again, the clock works, all your gauges are functional. It's not working with the oil pressure, right? No. Everything else works. Doors open and close nice. I don't think the backup lights work. No. It's got good sound. That radio definitely, yeah, it powers up. If it's got a station, like I said, I don't know about the blower motor, guys. Again, make sure you keep track of our inventory, guys. You can do that at southernmotors.com. Another great way to keep in touch with us is through our Instagram or our Facebook page. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page, guys. You can do that by clicking the little button there at the bottom. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video.
That's just a good straight O car, man. If you're looking for a nice turnkey driver, I think you will love this car.